Hello everybody, thank you so much for being here. I'm excited to share with you our topic for today, which is going to be the DAAD Helmut Schmidt Scholarship Program. So this is the official website of the scholarship, as you can see, DAAD, and this is it, the Helmut Schmidt Program, Master Scholarships for Public Policy and Good Governance, called the DAAD. So now let's get into it. The checklist, the application form, the list of countries, the frequently asked questions, and then information about this. Do want to check out all of these things because it gives you a sense of, especially the list of countries first, to see if is your country on the list because if your country is on the list all right you can apply of course you have to check the other eligibility but the first one is just to figure out is my country on the list that is the first thing to do okay when you have determined that then the other thing i want you to know about the scholarship is that this is a scholarship that has seven different programs and they have programs with different partner universities okay so here i'm going to show you i think i think I should have cross-checked for this, but I think that this is the map of Germany. I, I definitely think so. And then now they show you where each of these universities is located and which program is offered here. So I'm going to zoom right in and we are going to look at the first program. Management in non-profit organizations. So if you're a student who has studied something management related in working in non-profits, you can apply for this. And it's at the University of Applied Sciences or Snapbrook. I'm pronouncing that wrong. Doesn't matter. The next one that we are going to look at is the University, uh, the Development and Governance Program at the University of Duisburg Essen. So, if you are studying something development related, governance related, you are interested or you're working in this field, you should definitely think about applying for this program. Social Protection, this is offered at the University of Applied Sciences, Born Ring Sec. I am not pronouncing that correctly. It's okay. And then on the other side, we have the Peace and Conflict Studies at Otto Venn. Warwick University, Madberg. So this is, if you are studying conflict studies, peace and conflict studies, you can definitely apply for this. And in public policy, this is at the Willy Brandt School of Public Policy at the University of Effort. And then the, the you have, this one had a University of Passau. They actually have two programs, Development Study and Governance and Public Policy Study. So make sure you get this particular a brochure because it tells you now where i'm just going to scroll through and show you it tells it goes now into detail for example the social protection program you have a master's course the methods of study organization and language practical career target group who are those that they are targeting so you can see here you read more about each program here same thing development and actually has as you can see here this is a link that you that is this one this is a link that you can click on it and it's going to take you straight to the university's website so you see here development and governance this are the details about the program so under this particular scholarship you have to apply to the university first when you apply to the university, then you're going to indicate that, all right, I am interested in the DAAD scholarship program. They actually have more information on each of these programs website for DAAD applicants, so you're not going to miss it. I am actually preparing worksheets for this particular scholarship, walk you through from the start of applying to the scholarship right through till the end and how you can get this fully funded scholarship to study in Germany, okay? So the first thing that I want you all to do if you're watching this video is, do you want the worksheet for this uh, particular scholarship? If you do, please drop a comment, just say yes. And then the second thing I want you to do is I'm going to put a link in the description box with a wait list. So if, if you want to join the wait list, the link is in the description box. Please click on it and you're going to fill up your information. It's going to send it to me and I'm going to put you on the wait list, okay? Because the first step to applying to the scholarships applying to the university i'm just going to show you two options i'm going to show you two options of universities that you can apply for and then you all are going to figure out <coughs> the rest okay so here we have the 
University of Applied Sciences, the Department of Social Policy and Security Studies. So this is the department. This is the department's website, and you have like detailed information about it. And if you come here, it says here DAAD scholarship. There is a DAAD scholarship available for the winter semester 2024-2025. The application portal will be open from June 1 to June 31, 2023. So you see here, you apply to university and then when this date comes, this is from June 1 to July 31st, you can now apply to the DAAD scholarship. So let's look at, okay, apply to university. What do we have to do first? So you see here, it tells you application for master's program in social protection. And then it's going to load up. And here it says here, here you can, if you click on it, you're going to apply online. And if you click on this, of course, you're going to read more about the DAAD scholarship, but the portal hasn't opened yet because it's not the date. So we are actually preparing ahead of time to apply for it. But what are the things that you need to apply for the scholarship? A motivation letter, a recent CV in table form, copies of previous degrees and transcripts, proof of work experience in a field related to social protection, proof of proficiency in English, research proposal. So these are the things that you have to start preparing right now to apply to the university. Remember, I review statement of purposes. Remember, I review CVs. Remember, I review research proposals. So even if I'm going to show you all like how to do all of these things in the worksheet. So I definitely uh, implore you to get a copy of the worksheet. But if you don't want to get a copy of the worksheet, you can just send your like your research proposal, CV, I need help with my research proposal. Please review it for me. Make sure it's okay. Same thing with your CV. Same thing with uh, your motivation letter. I can review those things. So when you prepare all of those things, then you'll be good enough to apply online and then you're going to submit all of these documents. Let's look at a second example. This is at University of effort. This is the Willie Brands School of Public Policy. So it says here you have the admission requirements, what you have to do, the things that are required in order to study. So now let's come to apply now. As I said, under this particular scholarship, you have to apply to the university first and then you apply to the scholarship. So here you see with the with the uh, the other program, the social protection program, you they they, will they are telling you that the portal hasn't opened yet, but you can apply to university. Same thing here. Welcome to our online application model. Please register to proceed with any uh, really pro uh, study program that you're interested in. So all you're going to do is you're going to fill up first name, last name, all of the details, and then after giving your personal details, you can start your application. So you see that applying to the universe, I think that the same thing, when you do this registration, probably as you go along the line and apply, it's going to require you to submit your motivation letter, your transcripts, your certificates, and everything that is required. Like everything in between, you're going to be required to submit all of those things. So this is the first stage to applying to the scholarship. After the, and also, the, the other thing that I want you all to know is that with the DAAD scholarship, you can only apply. There are seven programs through, but you can only apply to two, okay? So the first step is applying to these universities. And after you've done that, then now the second stage is going to be applying to DAAD. And I'm going to walk you through that process also in the next video. And the worksheets have from the start, like applying to the universities, right through till the end, applying for the scholarships. So we're going to have section one of the worksheet, applying to the university. Section two of the worksheet will be applying to the scholarship. Thank you guys so much for being here. I hope this was helpful. If it was, please consider subscribing to the channel and share the video with one person, a friend, a brother, a sister, an auntie, an uncle, or maybe just your network on social media facebook instagram twitter telegram uh what anything please just do it to click that share icon and share the video with them i'm going to see you all in the next one cheers